What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Supreme Tech. Today I'm going to help you boost your internet, make it faster, make your fire stick or fire device run 10 times better. Uh, make sure to stick around to the end of the video so you catch all these steps. Also, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, smash that like button, turn on them post notifications, really helps out the channel. Anything that we mention in today's video is going to be linked down below, so you could go ahead and get it for yourself. I also got a link for a great VPN service. If you don't have one, check it out. It's called IP Vanish. They got some great deals going on right now. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, everyone. So a question that I get all the time is how do I make my internet faster? How do I speed up my fire stick? Um, I got a couple other videos on this to reduce your buffering or eliminate buffering. So you could look at that if you want, go watch those. But this is going to be a separate video. This is for more along the lines of your internet connection. Now to do this, we're going to need two things. The first thing is going to be an app, and it's totally free. And the second thing is going to be an uh, Amazon Ethernet adapter. And I'll show you how to get that in a second. But first, let's get the app. Now, on your home screen, you're going to want to come to the top left corner at the magnifying glass. And what you're going to type in is Analyti Speed Test. Okay, it's right here. It's called the Analyti Speed Test Wi-Fi Analyzer. You click on that. And then when you do, there's a couple different ones that you can choose from. But what I pick is this one here. It says Test Net Speed. And this is a really good one. So go ahead, download that, and install it. And then once you do, let's go back to our home screen. And if you can't find it, just come to your apps and channels and go all the way to the left or the right where it says see all click on that and then you can scroll down to the bottom and it should be here now you can move these to the front by clicking the options button and click move to front so that way it'll be more towards the front and you can see it a lot easier but the reason we need this is because this is gonna let us know how fast our upload and download speeds are and we're gonna be able to test it before and after so to test it, let's just open it up here. And they got a couple different um, options you can choose from. You can test the download speed, upload, test the ping, and the Wi-Fi LAN scanner, and the download speed alternate. What we're going to do is just the regular, so you just test it. And it does its work, and once it's done, it'll give you a speed. It's real simple, one hit, you know, one button press and you got it, um, you got your speed clocked. You can see here I got 59.07 megabits a second, and that's not bad. Also, another thing you can do is come up here and they got some other options. You can list background apps and processes, click on that, and you can download it and install it. And this is going to help you... Um, shut down all the apps that are running in the background that you don't need a lot of people don't do this and it just eats up their fire stick right it eats up the storage and it just makes it overall slower so i always recommend getting this then you just go in there and you know shut down all the background apps all right now moving on to step two once you got your net speed tester your wi-fi tester downloaded on your fire stick we're going to want to come here to amazon.com um, or you can just click the link in the description below and what we're gonna look for is the Amazon Ethernet adapter for fire TV devices right it's $15 it's very cheap and you'll be surprised how amazing this actually works for your uh, speeds for your internet speeds now let's go through the picture here this is what it looks like it just plugs into the mini USB on your Fire Stick, or if you got a cube or a box, same thing, it'll plug in. 
side note, guys, if you have like a Fire TV box, you're not going to need this. Um, it's just for actual Fire Sticks or like Fire Stick 4Ks and stuff like that. If um, ones that don't have an Ethernet port, as you can see here, this is an Ethernet port. If you have this already in the back of your Firebox or Cube, don't worry about buying this product. You don't need this. You could just do all the steps without buying this. This is what it looks like when it's all hooked up. You know, you got your Fire Stick plugged into the HDMI. Then you got the Ethernet adapter plugged into the Fire Stick. And then you got your Ethernet cord and the power cord plugged into this. So it's very simple, very easy. Um, if you got the Fire Cube or the box, all you got to do is plug in your Ethernet to the back. And you're good to go. So, and you're good to go. So let's go back onto the Fire Stick quick and show you a couple more steps that you're going to have to do. So once you have it plugged in, you're going to want to come over here and come to your settings. Come down to preferences. All right, once you're in preferences, come down to feature content. Click on that. Just make sure you turn both of these off, video autoplay and audio autoplay. All right, these are going to definitely make a difference. Um, you don't want stuff running in the background. That defeats the whole purpose of trying to have your Fire Stick run fast. So let's shut those down. And then after you do that, come back to your settings and go to Network. And once you're in here, on the right-hand side, it should say Wired Connection. If it says that, you know you did it right. You know you plugged in all the cords correctly, and you're good to go. Work signal and all that, make sure it's connected and you turned off those background processes. You can come back to your home screen and open up your NetSpeed test again and then just run it again and see the difference between when it was wired and when it was wireless. Okay. Now, this might not work for 100% of people, but I'd say about 90% of people, this is going to help, right? So comment down below, let me know if this helps you out and if you've used the steps exactly how I said. Also, let me know below if you got other ways how to do this. I always check my comments and look for things that might be better than my video. So if there's a better way how to do this, um, I'm sh I'll be sure to make a video on it. But I think... Subscribe. Smash that like button, really helps out the channel. And if you're wondering how to support the channel and you don't have no money, a great way to do it is just to sit through an ad here and there. Um, that's honestly one of the main ways people make money on YouTube is the ad revenue. So if you guys feel like it, sit through an ad here and there. It really helps out. Really appreciate it. And with that, I think I'm going to wrap this video up. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next one.